What is up, bros and brouettes? I'm Ink Slasher, and today we got a new event in Call of Duty World War II. It is called the Liberty Prime... No, wait, wrong game. Liberty Strike event. And basically what this is for is it's for July 4th or Independence Day in the States. And basically everything is based around that. As you can see on screen here, some of the new things that they introduced include weapon variants, camos, and on top of that, little decals for your weapons that all revolve around flags, independence, that kind of thing. Hence the name Liberty Strike. Now, as far as the event goes in itself, I really didn't think it would start today. Most people thought that this new event was going to start tomorrow like it normally does on a Tuesday, but it kind of just came out of nowhere and they released it today. On top of that, we really don't have a ton of information what they're going to be doing with new playlists and things like that coming throughout the event, because remember, this event spans from today, July 2nd, to July 24th. But as far as what is added at this point, like I said, there's new weapon camos, there's new variants, on top of that, new character gear for each individual division. But most importantly, we kind of have four, really only three new weapons, but four in a way. So the one that we already know about is the ZK-383. This is the one that was released with the Cavalry Division. So this is a weapon you can already get by simply prestiging your Cavalry Division. And in fact, when we were talking about DLC-3, I actually was using the ZK-383 in those videos. So on this channel you've already seen some gameplay of that. Now the one thing that is new is within the Liberty Strike collections you are able to get the new variant for the ZK-383. Now I wouldn't suggest spending armory credits on this one as it does cost 22,875 armory credits because you can just get this weapon for free by simply prestiging the cavalry division. So that's how I'd get the weapon instead of actually spending armory credits. On top of that this weapon is pretty good. It's an SMG that you can both fire in two modes. One a faster firing mode and to a slower firing mode with basically no recoil. If you do have this weapon and are using it a lot, I would suggest only using it in the faster firing mode because simply the time to kill is way too slow if you're using the slower fire rate. The next weapon is the AVS-36. It's a fully automatic rifle that has a higher rate of damage, slower rate of fire. So kind of like the M2 carbine, but I would even say that this one's a little bit better than that. And out of all of the new weapons, this one is by far the best one. So if you're going to spend your armory credits, make sure it is on this weapon. On top of that, this one is part of the Liberty Strike collection, which means it's only available for purchase via armory credits for a limited amount of time. So if you're going to purchase one of them, make sure it is this one. Now, if you do decide to purchase this one, it's going to set you back 24,175 armory credits, which is the most out of any of the new weapons, but it's nothing ridiculous. We've seen more than this before, I believe. Back in the Winter Siege collection, there was one that was 32,000 armory credits. So really, it's not that much. It's just the most out of the new weapons. The next weapon and the last ranged weapon out of the new weapons is also probably the worst out of the three new ranged weapons. It's called the Delisle. It's a sniper rifle, and I actually think you pronounce it Delise in French. I could be way off in that if you speak. French let me know in the comments but basically this one is a sniper rifle that has a built-in suppressor and the cool thing about this one is obviously it, you're always suppressed which means you're never going to show up on the mini map the bad part about it is it has a bit of a smaller one-shot kill area and what I mean by that is you're going to get a one-shot kill from the upper chest and up including the arms and hands if you shoot someone in the middle of the chest it does not kill them it is a two bullet kill but anywhere above that you're going to get that one bullet kill so it's not terrible considering it has that built and suppressor also has the same fire rate as the car 98 so it's a decent sniper rifle it just isn't quite as good as the car 98 like i said the bonus though with it is you're always suppressed you're always going to not be showing up on that mini map now, as far as how much is this one going to cost you, this one costs 23,150 armory credits, so almost as much as that AVS, and once again, this is part of the Operation Overlord, so you're always able to buy this one with armory credits, so again, if you're only planning on buying one, buy that AVS. It's by far the best one out of the three new ranged weapons, by far. And then finally, we have our one melee weapon that came out with these weapons, and it is the push dagger. Basically, it's just a small knife, works the same as any other melee weapon in the game. The only difference is, is if you are actually buying it with armory credits, you actually get a pretty cool variant. It's a corkscrew, it looks pretty cool, and it's just a cool-looking melee weapon compared to what the normal base variant is. So, that's really the only thing special about it, and it's also a little bit cheaper. If you're going to spend armory credits on this one, it's only 14050 which is a little bit less, more on par with what your normal melee weapons cost, as 
far as armory credits go. But guys, that is all the new weapons that they've added into the Liberty Strike event, DLC, whatever you want to call it. On top of that, they announced that we are going to be getting new playlists and things along those lines. They just haven't announced exactly what those are going to be. They'll said they'll be announced throughout the next coming week. So stay tuned for that. I'll try to keep you guys updated as much as I can. Hopefully they have some pretty cool stuff coming with it. I think they did a pretty good job on the skins and different camos that they did come out with this event. So I'm looking forward to seeing what else that they put into this. But guys, that is everything you need to know about the new weapons. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, if you are spending armory credits, the AVS-36 is the weapon you definitely want to get out of the three that are currently there. And also, you don't need to spend armory credits to get the ZK-383. All you have to do is prestige that cavalry division, and you get it for free. So guys, that's all I got to say. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out. Go crazy, berserker.